Hello, this is Laura. All right, so when you first open up discord.com forward slash login, and this is for everyone who wants to know more about Discord, you can go right here on the bottom and click on register, and then put in a correct email, username, password, the username will be your Discord username. So it, it's going to be a public username if you say log in uh, my email at, you know, email.com. And then let's say my username is Jane, um, I don't know, <laughs> Jane Doe then when I am invited to another person's Discord server, my name is going to be Jane Doe. And if I log in with my email at email.com, okay? So what I'm saying is pick a username that you would like other people to remember you by, uh, not just for yourself. And then that way you can use it when you are communicating with others. So maybe you'll pick something that's familiar in other groups or that you branded or something like that. Or create one that you would like that way. Um, so then you want to pick, choose the correct month, day, year of your birthday and continue. Then you'll, you know, log in. After you log in, um, you'll start to put together your server. Now, what I want to do here is I want to just go over a couple of things without looking at the Discord area. Look at some actual information first. Because they have examples here. Now, what is a Discord server? Well, a Discord server is kind of like your own private space to do whatever you want. So let's say, you know, it's your own private room and you can have other people in the room and you play video games or you play movies, music, whatever it is you do together in, you know, your own private space. Now, there are rules. You still have to abide by rules of, you know, no bullying, no threatening, no obvious t bad things towards other people. And so a lot, they are a little more lenient, but, and if you want it to be more like you know, make sure it's more 18 and over type of conversations or something. You can set it to an adult, to 18 and over, um, so that you can, you know, try to keep the younger ones out. Um, me, I don't want to be responsible for younger uh, minor children. That's, they're responsible for their, their parents, you know. Um, so, anyways, this is what a server space might look like. Now, this server is called Space City, and it has a general room section. It's like rooms in a house, you know, let's say the house is your house, the server is your house. And then each one of these areas is a room. One has gaming, one has videos and music, one has general, one has food fails. Then there is a lounge that has voice channels. So they could talk to each other through audio. And then uh, this one. You know, so I think that's Dungeons and Dragons. But that's pretty cool. All right. Now, you can have moderators, you can have 
that'll be different roles and things like that. So just, you know, study how it looks and you, you'll get to know it. And it's not that bad. You can join or create servers for all kinds of communities. Book club, a dance class, a study group, or just friends uh, that want to spend some time together. Oh, excuse me. So that is the basic knowledge to get it started. Okay. Then... They start explaining here how to use text and voice channel. Now, before you get into the server, it's really a good idea to go through this manual, and I'll leave the link. It's a good idea to start going through this manual a little bit and understand what you're looking at on the screen. Just like anything, it's good to study it a little bit if you don't understand it, don't know anything about it. And, you know, it'd be a lot less frustrating if you understand it a little bit better. A little better. So you have voice channels like these here. And by the way, this person right here is you. When you're in the server, you're sitting right there. So you're going to see your avatar right there. And that name will be that username. Okay. And let's see. Want to go further with your server setup? Check out these articles. So then these are some articles. And we can go through those in some more videos. How to talk and hang out in your server. The voice channels. You can easily start chatting uh, with voice channels with your friends and community right away. You can follow these guides to learn how to voice chat, video chat, or share your screen or watch other people stream right within your server. So again, it's like your private little space together with your group of friends. And this is how you can do it virtually. You can join a voice channel. This means voice, a little speaker there, and start talking. You should see a green outline around your avatar when you speak. See, and, and again, you'll see the gear icon whenever you see that. You know that you if you click on it, you'll see a menu of items, things to do. It doesn't change from other types of setups that you've done. It's just that it's going to have different, you know, settings. But the basic concept of the gear icon and the speaker are the same. So it's not that difficult to learn. Okay. Now this I haven't used, so I'd have to practice that. How to video chat. So you can have people, just like Zoom, you can have one person here in a video and the other people just there, like that. And you can be doing some type of training. Yep, which I think I would do uh, if, if anybody would be interested. That would be fun. Um, let's see. Join a voice channel. Share your video. So there's quite a bit. Yeah, the camera allows you to see, see video with the camera, the video camera. So that way, you're showing, they're accepting your video, you're, you know, giving permission for it to display your video, and then you do it. It's pretty cool. And then you can share your screen. 
And this is what share your screen looks like. Wow, okay. So that's a good start in getting to know it. And then we'll start doing some more with Discord in the next video. Have a great evening. If you like my content, I know everybody says this, but really I only have a few subscribers. So if you have not subscribed and you do like my content, I hope that you would please subscribe and I could offer you some more videos. Uh, at this point, I don't, you know, I'm not making anything for doing this. I just want to make sure and provide quality content. Now, I am not editing my videos. I'm just going through the information a little bit at a time. So this is not for the person who wants something done very quickly. This is for the person who wants to slow down and understand and learn and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to tell you this will happen in two seconds and it's so easy. No, I don't do that. No, I do. N I never do that. <laughs> I'm just going to explain exactly what it is. Now, once you do learn all, all of this or any information, when it comes to learning new skills, you become naturally quicker at doing it. So it will be rather quick once you get down pat. But learning it without ever doing it the first time takes a little bit. And that's okay. That's the way it is. <laughs> All right. Please, 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 please share and like. If you like, pretty please, click on that little thumbs up if that's all right. And I see you next time. Thank you. Bye.